Swing dancing stilt walkers, seven unicyclists in tutus, and a strong man. The 7th and 8th graders at the Pine Hill Waldorf School have run off to join the circus. Well, not exactly. The Hilltop Circus is actually part of their curriculum. Meet Jacqueline Davis. She's directed the circus for the last 17 years. We're almost there. We're almost there. The Hilltop Circus started in 1996. That was her first performance. In 1995, in the fall, I was asked by two teachers, two middle school teachers, uh, if I would help them pr produce a, a middle school circus. And I guess they asked me because I was a parent in the school, my daughter was in the first grade. Um, word got out somehow that I had a theater degree from the University of New Hampshire and that I had had a career as a mime. I used to work for Disney World at Epcot Center in my former life. And by the way, yes, I married a former Ringling Brothers clown. The performances have grown each year, and each circus has the fingerprints of the graduating 8th grade class all over it. It's a 7th and 8th grade circus, so there's always a novice class, and there's always a, an experienced class. By the time you get to 8th grade at Pine Hill Walter School, you're the, you rule the roost, right? You're at the top. So they have the responsibility and the privilege of coming up with the theme for the circus, and I work in collaboration with them. This year's story, J.J. Kazam and the Missing Music. The idea is that people are in headphones and they're all listening to their kind of music on the inside, but not, but not making music together like in community. They're not only telling a story, the skills the kids show off on opening night wow the audience. I really like performing, so I love that. And the difference about the circus and the other just like class plays or whatever is how much the crowd gets into it. That's so awesome, you know, to be on stage and everyone's clapping or whatever, like crazy for you. So that's pretty awesome. The reason these kids are so good, they've grown up in the circus. The developmental circus arts program at Pine Hill um, begins actually in first grade, the preparation for that. The children are um, learning tumbling and acrobatics, body management skills, they're strengthening, they're running lots of movement activities in the Waldorf School. It's a pretty, pretty huge deal. Uh, I mean, when I was in like kindergarten, it was always kind of my dream or something to look forward to, you know, in eighth grade. The circus arts piece um, is a whole child education. It's physical social and emotional development, and it's cognitive because they're thinking of what's going on, creative. It's a lot also about like being, learning with your classmates, helping, and working together, basically. And I, I like that. Uh, definitely better hand-eye coordination, a lot better hand-eye coordination, teamwork. There's such a wide range of activities in circus so that anyone can really do it if they put their mind to it. It's a smorgasbord. So circus arts, there's a lot to choose from. And we hope that because there's so much choice, kids will be drawn to what feels more natural to them. Poi, Diablo, juggling, human pyramid, tight wire walking, even clowning, you name it. The Hilltop Circus allows everyone to be a star. <laughs> Jackie believes the performance is just a small part of what the circus means to the students. Circus arts is inherently cooperative. Um, this is why I think it belongs um, alongside, it's a complement to sports and athletics on the one hand, and performing arts, traditional performing arts, dance theater on the other. Circus arts is kind of like a, a point in a triangle that's missing currently. In the big picture, developmental circus arts has very little to do with circus at all. Circus is more a vehicle or a laboratory to instill in young people uh, the capacities that they need to survive and thrive in 21st century life, like persistence in juggling. Okay? So learning to juggle, they may never juggle again in their lives, but what they will remember is that they couldn't do a thing 
They tried at it, and then they could do a thing. And they're going to use that a lot. After 17 years, Jackie took her last bow with the Hilltop Circus. But she isn't stepping out of the ring. She is off to study the benefits of circus arts as youth development. Circus arts is the best kept secret in youth development and education that I'm aware of. And it's time for it to get out of the shadows and up front uh, where it can help more children.